Hello children welcome back Today we shall be studying in science chapter number 10 that is disaster management It's very interesting topic What events do you see in the picture we can see disasters have taken place like earthquake famine fire storms and volcanic eruption sometime we even read such news in the newspapers see observe the picture now there are two types of disasters they are natural disaster and man made disasters so disaster are divided into two natural and man made now see in natural disaster there are earthquake storms famine tsunami forest fire volcanic eruption cloud burst and lightning strike and in man made disasters there is leakage of chemical gases fire bomb explosion and war so understood how they are divided into two in natural and man made now famine this observe the picture you where there is water scarcity that is famine the condition where there is less water supply the condition that arises due to long term and severe scarcity of food grains and water is called famine understood what is the meaning a definition of famine now what are the causes of famine droughts heavy rains and floods so you can see in the picture on the left hand side it is fully dry crops getting washed away or damaged in the flood because of the flood the crops get damaged spoiled then the second point of cause is environmental changes such as temperature change storms cloud waves or fog see in the pictures third point damage of crops by animals like mice and rats then fourth cause of famine is attack of pest fifth point is locust or diseases of crops locust is grasshopper natural calamities like earthquake seventh point man made causes like war internal unrest absence of transport route and uncontrolled population growth all these are the causes of famine now what are the effects of famine a majority of the famines occur in drought prone and flood affected regions where there is more flood and drought among the most dreadful famine that have occurred in the world are the famines that affected india and china asia has turned out to be the most famine affected continent of the world now next we will see that is cloud burst you must have heard someone saying are it was raining very heavily as if the cloud has bursted cloud burst means very heavy rain as if a cloud has burst so you, you can see in the pictures heavy rain and all now what is a cloud burst it occurs when there is sudden raining over a specific and small region at a rate of 100 mm per hour or more water coming down from rain clouds does not reach the land in the form of rain but due to very high temperature near the land it vaporizes again and goes back into the same clouds 
This result in very high amount of water vapors in cloud, which result into cloud burst. Understood? It vaporizes and goes back again, and because of that, the the it results in the cloud burst. Incident of cloud burst. These are the example in Lake that is Ladakh on twenty six on sixth August and in Mumbai on twenty sixth August two thousand five. So these are the incident happened in Ladakh and India. Now next is the flood. See you can observe in the picture. The water is overflowed. Houses are in the water deep inside. Twenty six July. Remember. Now what is flood due to excessive rain? in the same place a river overflows its banks causing a flood protective measures in view of flood now what protective measures can be taken construction of small dams in mountainous regions to construct the small dams second is construction of percolation tanks third is making river beds flat fourth is cultivation of new forest next is connecting rivers now some government has taken like government of india establish the national flood commission in 1976 the government has come with an commission the commission tries to control the flood third is lightning so observe the picture what happens in lightning the temperature generated by lightning is higher than that of the sun about 95% of the lightning flashes occur only in the sky whereas only 5% of lightning reaches the ground so 95% is happening in the sky but we can see only 5% Gen generation of lightning occurs either within one cloud or between two clouds sometime it takes place between a cloud and the ground in the atmosphere about 40 lightning flashes occur per second per second how much 40 there is very high temperature due to lightning this causes sudden expansion of the air under high pressure with result into loud thundering and that's why we can hear loud thundering sometime generally lightning strikes maximally on the open ground where it is an open place the chances of lightning falling on the open ground are higher than that of under the tree or near water the chances are more where it is open ground at higher place or near tall object the chances of lightning strikes are much higher where there is a light place lightning can even kill a person or there are long term harmful effects of lightning proper precaution should be taken during thunder storm and that's why we say don't go out in we will see that is volcano just observe the picture you can see the red fire like burning thing coming out a volcanic eruption is a natural event or phenomena in which the solid liquid and gaseous substances below the earth crust which are very very hot are pushed towards the crust which are the inside down very deep under comes out now what are the effects of volcano the molten lava that hot red color lava is called as a mountain lava vapor hot mud sulfur etc are collected on the surface of the earth forming mountains and hills when it get dry they form mountains or hills 
the atmosphere gets polluted due to the ash whatever is burnt out and is left that is ash and gases ejected by the volcano often it rains as a result of a volcanic eruption temperature rises due to hot gases it becomes very hot forest and settlements get buried under the hot mud next disaster is the tsunami observe the picture you can see the water is overflowing on it's coming on the road now tsunami tsunami is a japanese word which means harbor wave it's a very big wave a huge wave formed due to an earthquake or volcano occurring on the surf on the ocean floor is called a tsunami inside the ocean that is called tsunami the velocity of these wave is 800 to 900 km per hour when they reach a coastal area their velocity is found to have increased even to about 30 meters now destructive effects of tsunami what happens when tsunami comes large scale damage to life and property great financial loss there's a lot of financial loss infrastructures like buildings bridges etc collapse because of tsunami boats and ships near the coast get damaged trees are uprooted and landslides takes place on a large scale next point transportation is affected due to damaged road as da roads are damaged transportation effects normal day to day life is also disrupted means get disturbed because of tsunami so all these are the now next is precaution what precautionary measures we have to take during tsunami with the help of an artificial geostationary satellite right predictions about tsunami can be understood geostationary that is satellite means the orbit which is sent which moves round around the earth and gives information that is artificial geostationary satellite second point it gives an immediate estimate about the process of tsunami in such prediction people from coastal areas are warned and relocated to save their lives means they are informed that this is things are going to happen 13th october is observed as international day for disaster reduction so this day is an observe now contacts these are the contacts number when you are in the problem or anything happens so you have to call these numbers for the help like police is 100 fire brigade 101 ambulance 102 and disaster management number is 108 children for your assignment you will write the exercise from your science textbook page number 70 the answers are given in this video further you will write this question answers in your science notebook thank you